Check, check. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. How we doing? Yeah. I'm going to say it now. Would the owner of a Matt Gray Toyota Tacoma please be advised that someone smashed into the front passenger side panel? Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. To be honest, I'm not actually normally like nervous to perform. Uh, this is something I something I do quite often. But I think uh, I think it's just I'm just uh, around so many people that I love. You know, I, I know I really don't want to screw the pooch on this one. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to uh, picture everybody in their underwear or something. Like that. <laughs> Seven of us are in kilts. That was a bad idea. <laughs> So my name is uh, River, and for uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, Kevin's birthday bro. <laughs> Sorry, Brendan and uh, Steven. I know that uh, we're birth birthday bros too, but uh, this is Kevin's day. <laughs> we were born on the, uh, the same day, but I was born 12 hours earlier, so it explains my obviously superior maturity level. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm also C Corey's uh, surrogate boyfriend when a good dose of reality TV is on. Kevin's too busy playing video games. Yeah. Uh, to enjoy The Bachelor. Yeah. I know, such an underrated show. The episode, <laughs> the episode where, where Colton like jumps the fence and like all the camera crew doesn't know where he is. It's oh, compelling television. Yeah. So I actually... Uh, wasn't there when Kevin and Corey first met, but uh, I've gotten to know them so well over the years that uh, I think I have an idea of uh, how it might have gone. So uh, here it goes. They, uh, they met dancing under pretty lights, and uh, when I say pretty lights, it wasn't that the lights were actually pretty. Pretty sure that was the DJ. Am I right on that? I'm right on that one. Dodged a bullet there. So, they were dancing in the vicinity of each other, and because Kevin always plays the coy, shy, confident type, Corey, Corey approached him. I like your wide stance dance moves, and your Aladdin dance, Corey said. <laughs> Corey gave, Kevin gazed into her eyes, as if seeing the moon and the stars for the first time ever, and replied, Uh, what? Corey repeated herself and said, I like your wide stance dance moves and Aladdin dance. And Kevin said, Oh, thank you. These are my party pants. And, and I love them. I like your heart shaped glasses and your celestial leggings. classic Corey expression. <laughs> so maybe you could come hang out with me after the show at my place, Kevin said. I live with a dog named Rafiki and his owner, a Marine who loves the movie Frozen, and another guy who also loves the movie Frozen. <laughs> and when we get there, they'll both probably be watching, uh, wearing robes, drinking from our kangarator, and singing along to Frozen. <laughs> that sounds wonderful, Corey said. <laughs> And in the morning, we can find a great back breakfast place on Broadway with bottomless mimosas. Yeah. We can go there. We can go there every Sunday, and that can be our thing, going to brunch with bottomless mimosas. Even though it's pretty much every millennial's thing, going to brunch with bottomless mimosas. That can be our thing, she said. Which I will say is amazing. You guys really, like, when I think bot Brunch and Bottomless, I think Kevin and Corey. It's crazy. You guys have, you guys have owned something that's as cliche as anything else. <laughs> the 
That's great, because mimosas don't bother my sensitive tummy, Kevin said. Who's <laughs> well, been known to have a weak stomach? <laughs> he normally drinks Coors Light. <laughs> ba banquet's a little too heavy for him. <laughs> what he wants, she gets what she needs, relationships are tough, for them it's just the breeze, the patches they get rough, they handle it with ease, they both can't get enough, they both are the main squeeze. said Corey. Well, then we meet each other's friends, said Kevin, who are some of the best people on the planet. They'll love us as much as we love them. And we all grow and learn from each other through the good times and the bad. But no matter what, we'll love each other, always have each other's backs, and we'll always support each other in times of need, because that's the kind of people we are. Kind, compassionate, and loyal. And some of us even get matching tattoos. Twice. Twice. That sounds great, said Corey. And then we can meet each other's families who are just as amazing. You can meet my mother, Karen, who's, al Karen, who's always as warm and welcoming and always makes people feel warm in her pre- uh, Jesus Christ, sorry guys. I told you I was, I was nervous. <laughs> we can meet each other's families who are just as amazing. You can meet my mother, Karen, who's always as warm and welcoming and always makes me feel at home in her presence. And who coincidentally worked at both the Sheridan and the Grand, so she's probably a little conflicted on this thing. <laughs> And you can meet my father, Jeff, who owned the best bagel shop in Steamboat. Also an avid history buff, who's a little more pragmatic and realistic than I am politically. <laughs> and the best cribbage player on this side of the Mississippi. And then, you can meet, and then you can meet my sister, Emily, who's basically an edgier, cooler version of me. said Kevin, who most of my thing, friends think might actually be cooler than me. <laughs> my, my father, Terry, who's laid back, calm and collected, who's shown me all of the best stashes that I know on the mountain, and who makes margaritas so good that they've had a reputation in our friend group since... my mother Kathy, who's the strongest, most badass woman I know, who when she quite literally falls off of a horse, always gets back on. And uh, also who, for a period of time, falsely assumed River in rolling her ATV. <laughs> but uh, he's, so, he's so glad they cleared that up because uh, he would never want to upset Kathy, who's given him so much hospitality. So many rides up to Thunderhead to avoid the Gandhi line on power. <laughs> and you get to meet my sister, Caitlin, who showed me some of the coolest music I know to this day that I've gone on to share with all of my friends over the years. And who also kept pointing out yesterday that of all, all the scenery, that, that, that apparently she doesn't know that some of us still live here and get to see it every day. <laughs> She, I swear to God, she pointed out every leaf on the on the van. <laughs> are, you, are you looking? Are you paying attention? Kidding, I, I, I'm still up here a lot. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, the other thing uh, is uh, my sister Caitlin did talking as Kevin. She uh, totally totally blew her chance with River when she went off and married that Steven guy. <laughs> I already have 
have a dog named Buddha who is so happy and full of love. In fact, he loves people so much that it hurts him sometimes. Ooh, I want a dog, said Kevin. We'll name her Arya after a character in a totally overrated TV series. She'll be a bit of a weirdo, but if you've got some treats and she gets comfortable with you, she can be the sweetest pup ever. Oh, and we can get a puppy who's the cutest puppy ever and who's the best rafting dog you could ask for. And we'll name him Sushi, knowing full well that's a girl dog. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we'll have another dog named River, said Kevin. He'll be more of an outside dog. <laughs> And he'll be kind of a he'll be kind of a loose cannon, but we'll take care of him and support him just the same because we're good caring people who are do, who will do anything for the people they love. Cora <laughs> leaned in closer to Kevin so that he could hear over the blaring bass and said, "So, uh, what's your name?" <laughs> Kevin, he, Kevin, he said. Kevin McAllister, not to be confused with Macaulay Culkin's character in Home Alone. <laughs> but you can call me Stokesy. What's your name? I'm Corey, she said, but you can call me Hermione. Because, because Corey was still going through that Harry, intense Harry Potter phase. And I'm sure she's still <laughs> so what do we do now, she said. Kevin replied, well, now we go start our lives together. We have laughs, we have cries, we have good times, we have fun times, we have bad times and sad times, but sometimes the saddest times are the best because we'll have someone to always be there to console us. We'll do stressful things like buying houses and cars, and we'll do fun things like buying trailers and rafts and skis and snowboards and tickets to shows, and we'll take vacations and meet new friends and dance and sing and go to the mountains where we'll fall, all, fall in love all over again. And we'll do sad things like watching friends go through hard times and taking the dogs to the vets. And we'll do happy things like getting married and going on our honeymoon, moving back to the place where we both grew up. But it doesn't matter what types of things we're doing. All that matters is that we're doing them together. Well said, Corey. Well said, Corey. What are we waiting for? Kevin leaned over and said, For this fat, pretty lights bass drop. He gets what he wants. She gets what she needs. Relationships are tough. For them, it's just a dream.